Next up on our model engine, after we have the crank case or block assembled, we've got the spacer squares glued on. We've glued the uh, bushings onto the flywheels. We are going to set all of this stuff aside for a few minutes. We're going to get uh, one of these templates and again, uh, this page and the trace patterns for all of the cardboard parts are available uh, in the Instructables link that's uh, in the comments on this video. So you can find this, print it out, everything is there, um, should have everything you need. We're going to make the crankshaft. This little U-shaped piece is the crankshaft. And it's probably the most important part to get very accurate. Uh, you're going to come see me, you're going to ask me for a crankshaft and a connecting rod. If you ask me for a wire or a dowel, I'm going to look at you like you're silly. I want a crankshaft and a connecting rod, Mr. T. Oh, okay, here you go. First thing we need to do with this is straighten it out. Um, we can kind of just start working it with our hands, watch out for the edges. The ends are sharp and can scratch or poke or cut you. Uh, we can grab pliers. I've got a pair of pliers. These came out of locker number three. Uh, you can try using these, these vices. Um, whatever we need to do, we do want to get it fairly straight. So I'm going to work on that for a minute. All right. So if, I look, if you look at this, uh, it probably looks fairly straight, but if you look at this end when I spin it, you can see it kind of going up and down. So an easy way to check is to, to just kind of put it in your fingers and spin it like that, or even on a flat surface and roll it, and you can see pretty easy it's got that kind of bend right there. So then we know where to bend. It doesn't have to be like absolutely perfectly straight, but... The straighter we get it here, the easier it is to line everything up later. Okay, I'm going to call that good. So we need to make this match this. I'm going to set, now when we're done, this wire is going to be a little extra long on one side. That's okay. We'll fix that later. I'll, I'll explain why. Uh, we're going to set this down so that edge is lined up right there. I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to grab it right next to the bend line. So this line right here is what we're trying to match. So I'm going to clamp it right there like that. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to try and bend a sharp 90 degree corner right there. If we push out here on the edge, not only are you going to poke a hole in your thumb, but you're going to get a curve. It's going to round it out. We want a sharp corner. So I'm going to push right next to the, the jaws of these pliers right here. I'm going to push it where it gets to a nice sharp 90 degrees. How do I know when it's 90 degrees? Well, I'm going to set it back down on here and check it. So I'm not quite there. It's kind of shooting off at this angle a little bit. So now we just grab it next to the bend. We can fine tune it, tweak it just a little bit, get it right exactly where we want it. Same thing for this next bend. Grab with the pliers right here. And I grabbed it on this side of the line, so I'm going to bend it on this side. And I'm going to do the same thing, bend it to a 90 degree. Uh, and we'll set it back on here to check. So on this one, I over bent it just a little bit. It's pointing a little too far down. So probably even just do it with my hands. Bouncing back and forth here and just kind of fine tuning it. All right, I like that. Uh, before we do these last two bends, though, we have to install the connecting rod. Um, connecting rod is going to go on right now and if we've done nice sharp bends here it can't it can't slide around that corner so uh, that's why we don't want the big rounded bends we want the sharp corners but 
that means we can't put it on later. You have to put it on after the second bend right there. Now we can continue. I'm going to grab again right there. I'm going to bend this 90 degrees. All right. So if I just look at that, it doesn't look too bad, but if I look at it this way, you can see it's twisted. Right? Let's see if we can. So the easy way to fix that is we just grab on this side, grab this and twist it down because we do want this to be basically totally flat. And these, this line and this line have to be parallel. If this line is crooked, your piston and your connecting rod are going to be pointing off to the side, not going to work very well. So we're going to finish up the last bend and set that on there. Clamp it and we're going to bend that. All right, now, oh man, I messed up. See how this side is much longer than this side? They have to match. This line and this line should be basically one straight line for this to work. So if you bend the wire wrong, it's pretty easy just to straighten it out with a pair of pliers. If I clamp it right there and squeeze it, it gets it most of the way. I can fine tune it just a little bit, get it back to where I want it, try it again. We're going to set that in there. Grab it in the right spot this time. And bend that up to where it looks about 90. So I can continue playing with it, getting it to where it matches just perfectly everything. I, I still am a little off on this side. I'm going to try it one more time. Uh, but in the meantime, once you have this finished, you're going to come ask me for a piston. This is not a ping pong ball. This is a piston. And we're going to attach it to the connecting rod just with hot glue. So we're going to get our hot glue gun, which should be sitting on a scrap of paper. We're going to daub some hot glue right there, set it on the paper, and stick that on. Hopefully it stays fairly centered. Should be, it looks pretty good. And this, once I fix this, this is our rotating assembly, and we're ready to install this in our crankcase.